Hello and welcome to this video playing Zack Bauer. Who the heck is Zack Bauer? <laughs> He's got really high ratings there <laughs> and I've never played him. <clears throat> okay. So, some reversed Tarash. Nope, goes for Benoni. <laughs> yeah, it's essentially a Benoni, a tempo up, modern Benoni, a tempo up, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it is bad for white. Tempo isn't super important sometimes. Yeah, F5 was my idea. <clears throat> yeah, gain some space here. Interesting. I like my position here. Hmm, did I do I get in B five somehow? I just wonder if it he has some loose pieces, uh, d3 and so on. If maybe uh, b5 can be played immediately. Yeah, but probably not. He probably will go a5. Hmm. That's a move that I thought wasn't wasn't good. So Check. Let's see. I mean, bishop e3 doesn't work. I can take e4. Hmm. It looks shaky, eh? Looks like a shaky position. The rook is hanging. And I threatened to take <clears throat> and take f4. Yeah, that just um, gives me the pawn. Mm, a d4 hangs, admittedly. Hmm. The uh, f4 hangs, yeah, but um, d6 also might hang. We'll see what he does now, but I think I can just take with the queen here next. Queen takes f4 is the next move almost regardless. Hmm. I cannot do. I can also play the check here and then take on e4 and then take f4. That also makes sense. But I don't think there's something wrong with this either. He cannot. Okay, he can take. I thought he cannot take. Okay, so g5 maybe? 
So then I have the, or just go back. Yeah? Just just go back is good to f6. I wonder if I should go f4 in this position. Yeah, maybe just keep this on the board. This is a weak pawn. And the moment I play it, it's, it's the moment I regret it, yeah. Ah, it was bad, yeah. Just knight f6 and he's probably just falling apart. Uh, b4 is annoying. I mean, I saw it just, just a tad too late. Okay, so if he does that, I take, I put the bishop back. Let's do it. Should have really just taken and that would have been extremely easy i mean don't take it not playing f4 is hanging and he's got bishop c4 he's got bishop c4 time warning Yeah, I have to, I've misplayed this terribly. That was just a completely winning position. And this is now nothing, nothing clear. Did he do that? How did he manage that? How did he? What did he do? I, I was kind of, kind of uh, fascinated. Yeah, I didn't didn't see what he was doing. How he was able to do that, and now he can just take and maybe I'm completely, completely. Uh, we followed here. Yeah. How did he? What did he do? He took with the other, with the other rook. Yeah, I mean, I, I really, I really don't mind the end. I'm just an idiot, yeah. Just, I just, just take this and and this this game is basically done. Yeah, just open the position and win with the pawn and not give him this this ridiculous rook b1 b4 and so on. Ridiculous, is the wrong move, but it's ridiculous that I allow it. Yeah, because it's just much more difficult now to play. No, now this is not easy at all. Check. Yeah, I mean white has excellent compensation. It's much easier to play with white. I didn't quite understand what happened there that he could take this. 
It irritated me to no end. Yeah, I mean, plus, I mean, it was an extremely clean uh, start, and then uh, allowing this was pretty terrible. Okay, thanks for watching.